Hello guys, how are you doing? Stefan here, founder of Automatio. I wanted to show you some really cool tool, uh, call it GPT for work or actually chat GPT in Google Sheets. And why this is powerful is because when you extract data with Automatio, uh, you can put the data directly in Google Sheet and then you can use this uh, add-on for Google Sheet and perform a lot of stuff, like we said, uh, cleaning list, uh, extracting, normalizing data, analyzing, summarizing, um, and who knows how many things out there. Um, so I would just want to show how I'm using it and uh, how you can pro uh, potentially use it out there. So um, I, I'm going to use this as an example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract comments from this uh, Hacker News post out there. And we're going to do some uh, chat GPT an analyzing and summarizing and cleaning and so on. So I'm going to open the Chrome extension and extract these uh, comments over here. As you can see, I can simply select the comments clean. Uh, and extract this, but I don't want to. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the this kind of element, which contain also, as you can see, the comments, the username, um, some date, this stuff over here, and reply. So this is going to be a good example. So there is 43 comments. I'm just going to click uh, Create and Run. And as you can see, this is a very simple step for Tomatio. In case you didn't use Automatio before or even forgot, Automatio is way powerful than just extracting data. You can create, you know, input uh, action, click action, where you can fill the forms or chats or uh, text editors. You can click on elements, buttons, and you can, and then extract the automation. You can create really uh, complex automations out there. There's also toolbox with bunch of stuff inside there, solving capture, extracting source code, taking screenshot, and so on, so on. But anyway, let's come back. In this case, we're just gonna simply uh, use one extract action that we can call uh, comments out there. And I'm gonna, again, update and run and uh, extract this data. So I'm gonna go here. We have this instance running. So it's gonna extract this uh, data out there so i accidentally <laughs> downloaded this uh, we have this data in the dashboard but what i want to do i want to put this in the uh, google sheet so i'm going to click this button create new sheet and it's going to automatically uh, put it out there i can also use uh, some options over here and here is the google sheet so i'm going to open this in the new browser and um, yeah, this is the data uh, in the Google Sheet that we just extracted uh, with Automatia from the Hacking News. And you can see it's contained this unclean data like uh, geolatric, it's a username date and some stuff like that. So what we can do, we can use um, this tool that I just showed. Um, and here I have already installed the tool. It's very easy to install. Uh, you find it in the marketplace. You set up the API key you get from the uh, openai.com or ChatGPT, and that's it. So if you open this, you will find a lot of examples and instruction. There is a video. It's a quite good uh, explain it, so uh, it's easy to use. So list of GPT functions. So you can just call simple function GPT and tell something to do or you can do some other stuff over here, which you can check uh, yourself later. But what I'm gonna do over here in the first example is to clean this data. So basically I can use the formula over here and let's say call this column uh, GPT clean, clean it. So basically what I can do, um, use a formula GPT and then put, um, some prompt like you will put in chat gpt itself so what i want to say is to clean this uh, data i will say something like clean this text from username date reply text 
because there's a reply button inside and other stuff so i'm i'm very kind of um casual in writing this prompt but it it, it will work because it worked uh, before um and i'm gonna also say for i'm gonna also give them example so for example uh and now i'm just gonna copy paste um this uh text over here because this is the text as you can see we have uh, here root parent next something like that so i'm just gonna give him example so he can be aware and then after that i'm gonna give him as you can see, we are now writing the prompt with this uh, darker green. We're writing a prompt. Now I'm going to give him the value from where to take this text. And this is the text over here, right, in the A column. So I'm just going to put comma, and the value will be A2, right? And if I press the enter, I can put the, the temperature or something else, but not going to deal with this right now. So when I put enter, it's going to do the work so we're gonna wait what i can actually do i can go and just drag this over here and it will do for all of this uh i think i can format this as a wrap yes and uh, maybe we can also format this as a wrap so we can actually have better view and as you can see, we have clean data. We have removed this uh, username, date, and this next button, and also this reply, which is very, very cool. And we did it just like that And for all of those uh, comments. What I can do now, I can now, for example, do sentiment analysis. Is this is a positive or negative comment? And basically, I'm going to use the same command, uh, which is, um, so I'm going to, let's call this column actually, uh, GPT sentiment and I'm going to use the same command uh, GPT and then I'm just going to write uh, something like let's see uh, give me the sentiment uh, and write either positive or negative again i need to give it a value oops i didn't give the value so i need to give the value so the comma and i'll put the value will be uh, b2 over here so i can even click and it will work so the b2 will be the value and i can also extend ju just drag and drop to other rows and let's see what we're gonna get so it say it's a negative so and let's let's read not to be too on the nose but i'm little too edgy to see through the demo la la i wish at least so it's kind of negative um noted that bit positive so it it worked quite good uh, really so this is how you can do sentiment analysis very quickly uh using uh, this uh extension what we can do also we can do something like summarize and this is another uh, kind of a function or formula so let's call this column like that and basically i'm gonna use summarize and you can find it over here uh this uh, function summarize and there's examples there's also video when you click out there uh, it's a very good documented i like it so basically equal gpt and let's find underscore summarize and then i can give the text and that's basically again the value so the value will be again from b2 so i'm gonna just type uh, b2 this column right and this l and then i can give tell the, the format that we want and I, I can say one sentence but you can put you know three three sentences you can say give me the format of a, of a tweet or or maybe a list or 
I know there's a lot of stuff probably that I didn't even figure out myself and discover, but you can do whatever you want actually. So one sentence and that's it. I'm just gonna press enter. I'm also gonna drag and drop to, to get this for other rows. And let's see what we get. Let's format the, actually wrap this. Oops. Again. Yeah. And as you can see, it's summarizing. You say the person finds it too, it's difficult to focus and will prefer more information about the product in writing form rather than video, which is true. This is the comment exactly what you're doing. And it's explaining in one sentence, as you can see. The text is referring to a Pomodoro timer and expressing no disrespect towards the developer. The author will provide additional information. And so this is a really good, I mean, you can, you can use it for many different things over here. So you can also use rewriting. You can rewrite the content and you can probably do something with that, uh, either add in your website or whatever you need. And the last thing what I want to do is uh, chat uh, GPT uh, translate, let's say the Spanish. Let this be the Spanish. So basically I'm going to use uh, GPT underscore translate. And then the text will be, let's say again, B2, right? So we have a, is and now target language so let's put the spanish there for example spanish you can also say what is the source language of this um, but i think it's going to automatically recognize i tried before but uh, let's put some let's say it's english And you can also put some custom instruction, um, but in this case, I will not do anything. I'll just press the enter and also gonna drag and drop over here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Formula, format. Yeah. No quiero ser de mesa directo, pero soy uno por de mesa. Yeah, I can speak Spanish. I'm kidding. But as you can see, this is what you do. And we can do the same uh, for, let's say, Japanese. Japanese. So basically, I'm going to just change the formula over here. I say Japanese, if I wrote correctly. I'm just going to yeah, drag and drop to override the formula for other cells. Well, all of this text in just a couple of characters. <laughs> that shows how cool the Japanese is. So basically, that's it. I don't want to make this video any longer. This is a very useful tool because, again, uh, you know, with Automate, you can extract the data from many different sources. And once you put data in Google Sheet, you can connect Google Sheet with Zapier, with uh, who know how many different uh, tools and platforms that you can do something with this data. And now, especially with this um, ChatGPT extension for spreadsheet, you can do amazing thing out there. So it's up to you to um, use it however you want. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment below or even respond to the email because I'm going to send this through the newsletter. And yeah, feel free to reach me over the email hi at automatio.co if you have any question about it. Um, we are working on uh, free trials. Currently, Automatio is not free. I uh, hope you understand that we are a bootstrapped company and um, each of these automation actually costs a lot of resources on the server. So bear with us. Uh, we're going to release the free trials in the very near future. So yeah, be good and peace to you guys. All the best.